Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of World Pets TV. My name is Leo. Today, we're at a pet expo in San Bernardino, California. Now, this is my first time being here at this uh, expo. I've never been to this one. Um, it actually came up on my news feed on Facebook, so I said, why not? I believe this one's more oriented towards birds. Um, they used to have a bird expo at the Pomona Fairplex in um, Pomona, California, where they hold the reptiles expos. Um, so I believe that they moved it over here, but I went on their website and they also have a bunch of reptiles and other products. So I don't believe it's just a bird expo, uh, but I think it's put on by the same people. So nevertheless, we're going to go take a look inside and see what they have. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and let's go see what they have. Thanks guys. All right, guys, so we're all done here at the Pet Expo in San Bernardino, California. And in all reality, this was a bird expo. 90% 90, 90 of the vendors that were here uh, were all bird related. Uh, there was only a couple reptile vendors and some other stuff that were there, but 90% of it was all birds. This was a very small show, which was pretty cool. Uh, one of the things that I would recommend to you guys, if you guys ever go to a Pet Expo, a reptile expo or any expo for that matter is be respectful of not only the vendor uh, but be respectful of the bird or the pet the animal uh, I did notice a lot of people were kind of hovering and crouching over the the birds and trying to grab them trying to touch them and a lot of these birds are under a lot of stress as it is uh, you know coming to these expos so be respectful of the animal we all love these animals but be respectful of them um, ask the vendor if you could touch them, ask, to, ask them if you could hold them. And in most cases, they'll be nice enough to accommodate you, but if only if you're being respectful about it. So 
Uh, that's kind of my rant on that. Uh, but one of the positives that I could take away from this expo is that I ended up running into the lady that sold me my Indian ringneck parakeet about 12 or 13 years ago. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, please stick around for more videos. I think on the next episode, I'm going to be building the uh, 40 gallon aquarium stand uh, for the 40 gallon. So that's going to be on the next episode for sure. I have to get that done. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for sticking all the way to the end. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, guys.